Good evening. I'm Carol Morrison. Thank you for joining us tonight. A man is fighting for his life this evening following a meth lab explosion. It happened around 3.30 this afternoon at the Somerset Park and Union Apartments in South Tulsa. That's where we find 2 News reporter Brandon Richard live with the latest. Well, Karen, police say they're used to dealing with meth labs, even those that go terribly wrong. But what happened here, they say, is rare. I had gone to the grocery store, and when I came home, I couldn't get into the front entrance of the apartment. Tracy Johnson couldn't get in because her apartment complex was crawling with firemen and police. They told me that there had been a meth lab explosion. An explosion strong enough to shatter windows and powerful enough to pull part of a wall off the building's foundation. It was determined that uh, this, is in fact, was a meth lab gone bad. Some eyewitnesses report seeing a man lying on the ground outside the apartment immediately after the explosion. But when police and medics arrived... They just said they saw a white male and white female running from the apartment just after the explosion. Authorities say the man and woman lived in the apartment with a third person who didn't flee. Police say the man who fled later checked himself into an area hospital to be treated for severe burns. It's pretty rare, uh, I think. Uh, we haven't, I haven't seen one quite as uh, well the force that it's blown uh, part of the wood face off of an apartment. Some tenants were ordered from their apartments as a precaution, and so crews could look for additional damage. Nearby residents like Tracy say this makes them nervous. It's kind of scary having it that close. There's a lot of kids running around here. Um, it's kind of an epidemic thing these days. Like I said, I kind of keep to myself, but maybe that's not such a good thing. Maybe you need to reach out and find out what's going on with your neighbors and in your neighborhood. And we've learned police have arrested the third person, the man who stayed behind. He's been identified as 34-year-old Timothy Davis. The whereabouts of the woman aren't known. Live in South Tulsa, Brandon Richard, 2 News, works for you. Thank you, Brandon. The Oklahoma